Mm -mm. Oh, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy on Orthodox Todd back with another video. I ain't gonna count. <clears throat> I can't remember the last time y'all probably seen my face. It's probably been forever, forever, if I must say so. All right, so I don't need that. So, pretty much what's going on today is, um, honestly, I'm just gonna, you know. Just kind of give y'all an update on what's been going on with my life. Basically, I know you guys ain't y'all haven't seen my face in forever, like forever, and a lot has changed since then. I think the last time you guys probably seen my face was, I want to say like June, July, when I told you guys I was diagnosed. So, ever since then, I've like I really just ain't haven't had any content to really create. It was like, I mean, I could do shoes, but by the time I get shoes, it'd probably be like three, four weeks after they came out. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So, I mean, it was cool. That's what I kind of based my channel off of was sneakers. And don't get me wrong, I still do shoes in a sense. But um, I'm actually finna go drop a pair off now. I'll probably bring you guys along with me and I'll show you that. But pretty much this video is just me giving you an update on what's been going on recently. Um, It's been a lot. Like I said, last time you guys seen my face was like June. So ever since then, I just kind of been playing the game and trying to um, navigate my channel more towards like a gaming side in a sense. So I play the game. You know, I figure if I'm going to play the game the majority of the time that I'm playing it, I might well, you know, make some content out of it. So I do that from time to time. Um, definitely do it on Twitch. Just got into Twitch. The only, the only problem is with Twitch, I don't really have enough time because it's like I'm back in school now. So I'm trying to get my master's in cybersecurity. Um, so I'm trying to do that. And on top of that, working, um, spending time with family, you know, stuff like that, you know, things that are more important than the game. I don't really have time to do that. So, you know, it is what it is. But so just been doing that. Just going to uh, tell you guys basically my last, not, not, not even the last few months from June. Yes. Honestly, it's probably like the last two months of my life how everything for me has just like changed like that in a sense like like a roller coaster is life is definitely like a roller coaster every day goes up and down um i think it's like science i think i think it's science you probably told you this whatever goes up must come down in a sense kind of like shooting a basketball you throw it up it's coming back down that's how life is and last year around this time if i must say so I, I just, I was all out of it, trying to figure out what I was going to do <clears throat> after I graduated, um, figure that out, figure out what my future is going to hold for me, you know, a lot of stuff. And like, personally, I feel like COVID had a lot to do with this because it's, it kind of set a lot of people back in a sense. And it's like, you didn't really know what to do, how the world was going to, you know, change, like what to expect. But now you walk outside, ain't nobody got no mask on. It's kind of like, we're kind of living a normal life in a sense, but it's still not really normal in a sense because it's like we can't get 2020 back. So it was like everything that you had planned before 2020, like you had it set in stone. But after 2020, everything is kind of like it kind of took a pause in a sense. So that's what I blame for a lot of situations. So after I graduated, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, I graduated with business management and I pretty much wanted to own my own business. I already do that, but the thing is, it's like, okay, that's one income. Now I need to find something else that's going to, you know, navigate some more income. Because at the end of the day, if it don't make no money, it's not going to make no sense. So it defeat the purpose of me already doing something that I do and then not doing something else. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I can sell shoes or clothes or whatever it may be, but what else can I do? You know what I mean? Like, I'm only, I'm only 24. So, well, last year I was 23 at the time, but now I'm 24. And this year is kind of different. I feel like last year when I graduated, I was stressing myself out trying to figure out what I was going to do after school. And the um, jobs I was applying for, I didn't really like the position that they giving me, like manager role and stuff like that. But it was like, it wasn't like no corporate or nothing like that. It'd be different. It was more like a McDonald's or a local clothing store, you know, stuff like that. It was like, I didn't go to school for four years to get a degree to you know, go here. No, no offense to anybody that does that. I'm just saying, though, that's not why I went to school. Everybody goes to school for their own reason. This camera is kind of dark. Though. Pretty much what I'm saying is 
after I graduated, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I, was, I even had a thought in my head. I was like, well, I can either go full force with my shoes, selling shoes and whatnot. Or if I want to, I can go to the military. And then that kind of, it won't eliminate all my problems, but it helped me get a just jump on life in a sense. Or I can go back to school. So I had those three options. I gave myself those three options. So I was I was about this close to going to the military, like this close. Over the summer, I was this close to going to the military. Took the ass back and everything. I mean, I was this close. I was I was gonna do it. But then everything in the world started happening about us going to war with folks across seas and and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm not gonna say it on here, but uh, polit I don't know if it's politics. All that stuff going on. And honestly, if you wasn't in the military before then, I don't know if you should go. Cause I don't know if we're gonna have war. I'm just saying. I'm not gonna go over there. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. You know, you put me behind a computer, I'll be fine. But that that I don't I don't know what the you know what the situation was. Cause once you sign no papers, your life in their hands in a sense. So I was like, oh, oh Lord. So I didn't want to do that. Then I was gonna go full force in my shoes. Um, I had joined this Discord. You know, you gotta pay a certain amount of money to get your shoes early. This, that, and third. And I'm over here. I thought it was legit. It was legit at the beginning, but then it was a few incidents where customers were getting fake shoes. So you think about it. In order for you to get a shoe early, you gotta pay a good. You gotta pay a pretty penny in a sense. Okay. So I paid. I had paid um a pre-sale for a shoe. I never got the shoe, and I paid. I paid a, uh, some money. So I never got it. So I contacted the person and gave me back the money in a sense. But the thing is, like, for this to be like a legit business, like it's over like 10,000 members in the thing. I mean, in the group. And you would think, you know what? You know, this is legit. Let me let me give it a try. And it's a it's a very expensive um, program. So I was like, I'm going to do that. Then a consistent rate of fake shoes were being sold to the customers that are paying money to be in this group. So I just stopped paying I was like, bro, ain't no point. Like, I'm I'm paying a lot of money just to get something that's fake. I'd rather take my chances on sneakers or Foot Locker apps and whatnot, if that's the case. So that was that situation. So now I got one option left. What? One option left. Go back to school. So I decided to go back to school and get my master's degree in cybersecurity within a year and find myself doing something with computers. Because as far as I'm concerned, computers are going to be around for a long... Not even computers. Technologies are going to be around for a very long time, in a sense. That's just how I think of it. And I think I will always have a job. So, I went back to school. I'm going to get my master's in cybersecurity. So, I got that out of the way, right? So, on top of me trying to figure that out, being stressed. Because at the time, I didn't have a job last year. So... <sighs> Last year, I was trying, you know, trying to figure out, okay, well, you know, where am I going to work? I didn't have nowhere to work. And then, so I had to start selling shoes. But, like, the shoes that I was selling, I had to sell it so, had to sell them so fast, I didn't really give the shoes time to make profit. So, I was just trying to sell shoes just to make money back, in a sense, or whatever the case may be. And you guys going to understand why I keep saying money, in a sense. It's because it's going, it's, it's all, it's all going to work its way around. Hopefully, it's like a 20-minute video, hopefully. But it's, it's very good. It's very good inspirational too so i was like well what am i gonna do so i started selling all the shoes i wasn't making really profit but i was just making enough gifts to pay my bills so i was like okay cool so i can pay my bills um pay my car well you know pay pay the ne uh, necessities that you need in a sense i said okay cool so i did that and then you still think i'm selling these shoes but i'm not really making as much profit as i would if i could sit on them so i really couldn't sit on them because i ain't had no job this was my only income at the time so that was stressing me out, I will admit. And then, as you see, for like the first six months, I was stressed out and I was I was losing weight, drinking a hell of water, using the bathroom all nights, days, times, whatever the case may be. So um as you see, that's the first six months. So that recent video when I told you guys I was diagnosed, I was going to drop my car off. And then um the doctor had told me, you know, you're diagnosed with diabetes, whatever it may be. And then I felt like I, it was because I was stressed. So the last six months of last year, I found myself a job, got myself a job. Um, then I got a promotion. And then we're going to go to now. Well, actually, what is this, March? So we're going to go like January. So 
January, working, you know, doing what I'm doing, but I didn't get paid because of certain situations in a case that I really can't explain right now. Uh, it's all legal, but um, it's just dealing with, like, certain people weren't able, We I work basically on a contract, and if you don't get a contract, you don't get paid, but it's, people have, it. the contract has to go through certain levels in order for it to get get funds to me, well, my the company that I work for. So, that was the issue. So you think about it. I mean, you working month, two months, and you don't you don't get paid. It's like, well, what you gonna do, right? So, pretty much, I told myself I was like, you know what? Last year I stressed myself out about not making no money, right? I said that's what that, I think that's what caused me to have diabetes, quote unquote. I'm not I'm not even gonna claim. I'm just gonna say that's what they said. So, I was like, I'm not gonna stress myself out about no money. I'm not gonna do it. Because I didn't want to put myself in that predicament. At the end of the day, your health is the most important part. That's one thing that my mother has taught me. So, with that being said, I was like, I'm not going to stress myself out. So, me being me having that business mentality that I had, I got, what, over 200 shoes, a lot of clothes. You know, stuff that you don't wear. I was like, okay, well, what do business owners do? We sell. That's what I did. I started selling stuff, right? So, Sold some clothes, sold some shoes, made a little two hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Made something quick, so made two hundred dollars. Then I went to eBay, started selling shoes on eBay because stock eggs, stock eggs be tripping sometimes. They price to be, they go up and down, up and down. I need something consistent, so I went to um, I went to eBay. I started selling on eBay. I think I sold probably, I want to say like five shoes on eBay. Some some shoes that I wasn't able to sell on stock eggs. Know that some shoes that were used, um, or they were just old and kind of they they're old, they're new but they're old and you know they be having that um like it has like an icy bottom and turns yellow but it's never been worn you know stuff like that I got I have stuff like that so I went to eBay started selling on eBay and I made like a thousand dollars on eBay in like what three days in a sense so I was like all right cool so I started doing that and then eventually I got paid so it was like now I have this mindset to where if I don't get paid, I don't need to stress myself out. I just need to find another route in order for me to get some money. So that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to start doing. So pretty much my message to you guys today is to share that no matter what your current situation is, you can still change the outcome. And that's what I did. So I could have sat, sat around, moped, cried, did all that, but I did. What I did, what made all of this stuff happen, I started going back to church. Now, I'm not going to get on here and be spiritual because I know, you know, everybody has their own different beliefs, but considering this is my channel and this is my YouTube, I am grown, so I'm going to say what I want. God helped me through this situation. I'm going to tell you why. So, remember, all everything I said before, ups and downs, Lefts, rights, curves, hills, mountains, all that. Been through it all, right? But in the last two months, not the last, last two months, I haven't been paid, right? So then I started going to church. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start going to church. So I went to church. I've been, I've been going to church consistently for three weeks straight. So first time I went to church, I went in there and the bishop was talking about pretty much saying, when you pray, pray for exactly what you want. Like be direct. And me being me, I didn't want to be like that because I felt like it was being selfish in a sense. Because it's like, I'm just praying for what I want. But in your prayer, for example, if I pray that I want to be debt free, I can say that. But I can also say I want to pray that my family, my girlfriend, uh, friends, you know, whatever case that they're healthy, safe, this, that, and third. So what I did is when I pray, I pray for 10 things, 10 things for me, my family, my future, um, uh, what, whatever other situation. So that's what I do. I just pray for 10 things and keep it consistent. 10 things that I really, really either need or want. Most of them are needs, not wants. It, most of them I really need them. So that's what I started doing, right? So you, I've done that consistently. So in a sense, not all of them are going to happen like right away because at the end of the day, it's on God time. He's going to give it to you when he feels he wants to give it to you. So 
I was praying that I was like, man, I hope I get paid. I find a way to make some money. eBay. That 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 that's how he answered that prayer. And then me selling my clothes, he answered that prayer. And then recently, I just got paid for my job. He answered that prayer. And then I was like, I want to be healthy. I'm still healthy in mind, you I'm still a diabetic, quote unquote. But he did that right. So then the uh, um, second time I went to church, um, the bishop's son was speaking. But like, not every. Not every word that they give is always going to be indicated towards you. So I, I didn't, I like, I was obviously listening, but I didn't feel like what he was saying, like, touched me in a sense. Like, I didn't feel like it reached me. So I listened. I said, you know, got my prayers in, did what I did. So the third time, um, what was, I forgot what Bishop was talking about. Um, I think he was uh, preaching about changing your current situation. Whatever you're going through now doesn't, uh, you know, define who you are as a person. If I can remember, I can't remember. The first one really stuck to me because I felt like he was speaking directly to me. So pretty much what I'm saying is, if you pray for it, anything is possible. Like, like I told you guys, I was like, bro, I'm not going to stress about no money. I said, it's going to come. I'm not going to stress myself about it because I know it's going to come. So it ended up coming. Now I'm able to pay for what I got to pay for. And then I, I put myself in a situation to where I know if I don't, if I don't get paid, I know what I need to do. You know what I mean? Because like, in a sense, I don't feel like if you don't get paid from a job, you should get, just stop doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like everybody has a certain lifestyle we have, we want to live, but it's a certain lifestyle that we need to live. So, you need to figure out what you need to do in order to get to what you want to do, in a sense. Ooh, hold on now. Hold on, bro. Ooh, ooh, hold on now. Hold on now. I don't know what I just said, but I just said it, though. So, with that being said, I'm not, I don't, I don't even, you know, like, I just feel like, like anything is possible. If you put God first, I feel like anything is really possible, in a sense, because, like, I don't know, just that consistency and just knowing exactly what you want can really, really change your life in a sense. Because I feel like the last few weeks that I've been going to church is like, it's really opened my eyes to like a different view. And before COVID, I went, to, I went to church, but like after I didn't really go because, you know, the whole COVID thing. So I go in person from time to time, might do online, it just depends on where I'm at Saturday. So I can definitely say the word that he gives, I can definitely relate to it because it's really impactful in a sense. So all I'm saying is like, if you, if there's anything that you ever want to do in life, or if you're going through a tough time, rough, rough paths, whatever the case may be, you just pray, pray for the situation and pray to get out of it. I honestly, I, I promise you, you will be fine. I didn't pray for stuff that I didn't think I'd ever be able to get. Now, I'm, I'm finna go drop off a pair of shoes. I'm finna go sell some more shoes. Like, last year, I was selling shoes, but I wasn't selling them to make a profit. Every shoe I didn't sold so far, I didn't make a profit. And I, like, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't, that's all I can really say. I mean, just be consistent with it. Pray. Um, keep God first. And understand that it's more to life than, you know, what you see, in a sense. Don't compare yourself. That's what he said. So, he pretty much said that don't, don't listen to, no, you have to hear what you want. So, you can see it like, for example, you see somebody that got like a lot of money or they got something that you want. It's important that you don't look at what they got. It's important that you understand how they got what they got from hard work. So if you want something, you got to be able to put work in to get it. If you willing to do that, anything is possible. Trust me. But like I said, this video is going to be about 20 minutes. And that's exactly how long it's going to be. And I appreciate everybody that tuned in. You know, I appreciate you guys. Let you guys know the update on what we're going on. I appreciate all the love and support. I'm going to pray that we get a 1,000 subs. Uh, please drop a comment, like, share it, do all those good things. And I appreciate everybody that tuned in. Um, Y'all be safe out there.
Peace.